When you walk in the goat, this is what you see. It's a beautiful, bright and sunny morning. And we are looking straight ahead at our new display of the Zodiac Collection by Malabrigo. And this is the Rios uh, yarn base. As you know, it's a, it's a favorite um, and it's a super wash merino and it's just really fun. Actually, it looks like I already have to restock a couple colorways here that got picked out, but we've got some overstock right here and these are really fun and rich. And I'll show you, this is my sign, Aquarius, this, this gorgeous purpley, browny, pinky, yeah, super fun. So behind this, we have our newly constructed, it's fall, it's autumn. We wanted to get some of our gorgeous autumn yarns out right by the front. So we've got Wizard right up here at the top, followed by gorgeous Yak on the second row. Um, and I just have to show you some of the new colors of Yak. Absolutely gorgeous, love that pinky color. And then we have this, it's a, it's hard to get in this light, but it's a beautiful, beautiful navy gray color. And then everybody's favorites for autumn, like these beautiful nut browns. And then below that, we've got sesame and sesame is just a really fun worsted weight yarn. And then down here, we've got Dash and Dash is being covered up right now by these booklets and by the sample, but Dash is so fun and super bulky chainette. Got some of these neutral uh, background bases here as well. And then what's on our other side? <gasps> on the other side, we've got the Rainbow Puff World. So as you know, we've got the Cloud Tweed with some brand new colorways down on the second row. Looking so, so fine. I mean, just you want to do this all day when you walk by this yarn. Um, underneath, we've got Mystery mystery by Wool Addicts and this is a awesome hat pattern that Miranda designed called Clarissa. It will soon be on Ravelry I hear a rumor of but like okay rainbow, rainbow fun, rainbow yum, all of these also bulky weight and then under here we've got Snowflake Multi beautiful bulky snowflake so we've got some great yarns up here for your fall makes um, and I just wanted to come around and show you this is also, it's kind of, we're getting some glare. This is another one of Miranda's Clarissa hats, and this is knit up in the cloud tweed. So with one puff of cloud tweed, you can get two hats out of it. And then here's my Scudic Bay, Scudic Bay that's living in here as a shop sample. So that's what the front of the store looks like right now. Happy fall. Over here in the shop, we've also got a new little setup on what we refer to as our winding table. Cause you can see in the foreground, we've got our ball winder and in the background, we've got our Swift. Um, we get a lot of folks who come into the store and they want to see our cashmere yarns or cashmere blends. And it was a no brainer to try to put this table together. So folks have an easier time finding those yarns. So we've got gorgeous cashmere premium right up here at front. These little balls are just so delightful and delicious. Perfect for a Sophie scarf if you're thinking of that. We've got our June cashmere, sorry for the glare. This I believe is the fingering weight. Yep, fingering weight. We have um, Acadia by the Fiber Company. This has some cashmere in it. We've also got the DK weight June cashmere over here. Um, oh gosh, you know, luscious cashmere light. Sorry, the balls just sort of look a little messy sometimes because people come and they just wanna pat the yarn. Um, and then here we have VIP and we just got some new colors of VIP. Like for example, this red is super juicy. We got this berry that's super beautiful. We got a new, this is called bottle, like bottle green, I believe. And I believe over here we've got toast. Toast is just a little bit darker than this guy right here. Here's toast. 
Um, and you can see this is uh, one of our samples with VIP. It's VIP is just super soft and it's Italian spun merino with some cashmere in it. So also great for a Sophie scarf. We're coming around this side. And here we have, ah, oh, Cashmere Dreams by Lang. So sweet, so lovely. Look how this would be nice, right? You could totally do a little like red cashmere VIP kind of a vibe. That would be beautiful. Maybe even in this hat, hmm. Um, and then, you know, rather inexplicably though, we have this um, alpaca blend here. This is the Wool Addicts, it's Honor. And what do we got? We've got fiber content wise, we have Merino and we have Surrey and it's a 50-50 blend, but you know what? It's soft, it's gorgeous. It looks nice here. Hi, welcome to the Cashmere Goat podcast. I'm Iris and Kristen is newly back from an incredible vacation on um, the knitting cruise, this, the sailing with the schooner Angelique and Sawmill Creek fiber, fiber events, yes. Uh, and Mary, um, Casa Pinko was on board as well. And so Kristen's getting her land legs back on right now. She might pop in, but I just thought I would kick this off because it had been a little minute since uh, we had had a podcast. So first of all, I am wearing my finished water rock vest. Um, this pattern was a little challenging for me. Um, had to do with some of the way that the pattern, actually the instructions were organized and written out. Um, I had to sort of invent a size for myself because there was not as many sizes. Anyway, it was an adventure. If you wanna take a look at some of my notes, you can go to my Ravelry page. I'm at Iris Dagmar on Ravelry. Anyway, so here it is. It's this gorgeous, puffy, fluffy, airy, beautiful wooly wool that I picked up at the Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival last year. And I just love this vest. Um, I've got a little bit of like a tiny bit of a rolled collar here. There's this very nice finishing edge. I'm gonna come just a little closer and hope you can see finished edging here that's basically an I-cord bind off that kind of neatened up those sides. And there's these textured stitches underneath that's like a mistake rib. And then with this beautiful textured detailing across the body, the front and the back. So that is what I'm wearing. Um, what else can I tell you? I'm working on still my Pianta bandana cowl that I showed you in our last episode. I am just about at the point where I'm about to be switching into the pointy part. So I'll be knitting brioche flat, which is always a little bit of a different sort of experience, but it is still as beautiful, as fun, as lovely, as bright um, as it was. And for this, I'm actually using I'm using on the round glow in plush single and why not show you right I'm standing right here and pink tourmaline and I'm holding um, my pink with the beautiful Malabrigo English rose mohair and oh my gosh here's Kristen Kristen come stand right here Hi there, everybody she's even got a schoonery shirt oh, on yes. I'm just literally fresh off the boat fresh off Fresh off the boat. Uh, thought yeah. I'd say hi. Yes. Always in such a good headspace when you come away from sailing. I I probably look a little funny, but I am. Very, you have the beauty of relaxation all over relaxed. your face. And I went swimming in the ocean yesterday evening, which was very cold and shocking. But I stayed in long enough to like you warm up. It's weird, um, and it's so. It's so, it's so good for some of us. Some, there were like four of us that went in. So it was fun. I can't um, recommend a schooner trip more. Mm. <laughs> so good. So should I show you yes. what I, Let's I did see. work on some knitting. Mm -hmm. Well, first, a Casa Pinka was there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hold that. Uh, Casa Pinka was there. And so there's a special pattern from Casa Pinka that I started and I got, and we got special yarn from on the round. We, it's a special colorway. And I only got this far, not because I didn't like the pattern, I did, but because somebody else 
was knitting with this yarn and put some mohair with it and I liked it so much that I just kept looking at it and then I was like I I have to stop so I can start again. <laughs> can we just hold the colorway up yep. a little closer for her? So this mm. is a special colorway that she dyed for the two cruises this summer and it's called Sunset Sail. Um, and then I worked on a little bit on my um, Scudic Bay, um, which I am using the BFL mm. West Yorkshire Spinner Fleece Yarn and Fellside. Fellside is so beautiful. I love it. Oh. I love the way it's coming out. Oh. I love how it feels to knit. The little halo. I'm excited to wear it. And I love my stitch stoppers, which were really good to have on the boat because I'm me and I tend to throw my knitting down and then pick up stitches and fix everything a million times, but. These are the Fox and Pine stitch stoppers, which I think we may need to reorder I pretty think we soon. Do. I think they're, yeah, yes. So we had a blast. I didn't knit as much as one might expect because I, there was so much to look at. Yeah. Um, there was so much to see. The weather was beautiful. The food was delicious. Mm. The company was amazing. And, you know, there were, there was food to eat. So I have to tell Kristen something, and this is, we're, we're just live, like catching up. <laughs> like I literally just picked her up at the dock. So we got a really special package from one of our remote goats. Oh, really? Um, you know, Linda, who, Linda came, yep, who yep. came on the June cruise mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. you. And she was hoping to be here this fall for a visit right. and had to cancel her trip. Right, the was, hurricane made them go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, so she was super bummed and sent us a package with what? I know with oh my god that is the cutest the little bag. cutest little bags as you and, and Linda of course knows how we feel about bags so this has knitting sheep on the outside and tiny goats on the what? inside and she made enough so that we're gonna have enough for <gasps> most of the folks who are regular staff members with us like you know oh my god you're kidding me so we have so it's like Thank you, Linda. such an incredible That's sweet awesome. gift we were just I mean I opened it because it said to ears and Kristen, and so I opened it and I was like, oh my gosh, Kristen is going to just be so touched. That is so awesome. I has am. has a great little closure and a great little clip that is oh, open and closable, so we love it. Anyway, thank you so thank much, you. Linda. It was so thoughtful for you to do that That's for us. It's a surprise. It was a surprise. <laughs> yeah, a good surprise. Yes. So did you have anything else you wanted to talk Well, I was about? just going to talk about the the Scudic Bay. Yep. The Knit Along is rolling along, and we're headed into our last week this week. Mm -hmm. So this Sunday um, is our last meetup. Yeah. And so folks are going to come in. They're all over the map. We had people who finished their button, you know, their front pocket band. We've got people on sleeves. We've got... You know, Kristen, That's so behind us usually. all the comers, you know, <laughs> but everybody's making some good progress. Tonight we have our uh, our meetup on Zoom. I'm really oh, excited yeah. to see what those folks are up to, but just so much good feedback for the project mm -hmm. um, and for this knit along and um, be looking for a post. I, I scheduled a social media post to come out a little later this week that tells all the different places where people are joining us from. Oh, that's cool. Which I thought would be really fun. So that's great. We're still rolling with that. And um, yeah, I mean, that's sort of like the little mini catch up here. Yeah, and there's some new yarn in the store that I've seen. So. Which you're gonna get a little tour of because I'm gonna put in a little footage of new some yarn. yarn touring. And yeah, we have to open in a few minutes. We do. And yep. yep, as we both look at our watches. <laughs> our this is a slide. It's we live. We do yeah. a lot of editing. We, yep, no. Nope. And uh, so anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, follow, subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment if you would. We love your comments. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. Happy knitting. Happy, happy knitting. crocheting. Happy making. Bye. Bye. <laughs>